Tuesday, September 5th. Surprisingly, it is still raining. And Ed and Brandon are trying to get some BCIs on the roof. They're just hoisting it up with a rope and then walking it across up over the top plate. Brandon's up on the scaffolding and and uh, Ed's on the lift in here, getting it across there. Get out the door down here. I'm thankful these guys are doing this and not me. It's hard enough to do that when it's not pouring rain. They're getting them lined up. Got their string line run across the front here, three feet. Anchoring them down with uh, three inch fasteners. Eight o'clock on Wednesday night. It poured again today. <laughs> this is the first break that we've had. A bit misty. 51 degrees. And these guys have made some progress despite the rain. They have all of these BCIs in place on the main structure. can see through my roof. <laughs> so looks like they have all the blocking in place along this front wall. Um, they have it notched for ventilation. And so probably tomorrow they'll get the blocking in on this wall and then that other exterior one. This is great <laughs> to have this much done. Let me get some sheathing up there and get it enclosed and we won't have to worry about rain. Well, <laughs> there's still stuff to do on the outside, I shouldn't say that. We are about ready for the rain to go away, that's for sure. 7 o'clock Thursday evening. Looks like they have started on some of the outlooks on this side of the building. 
Yay! Let's see what's happening over here. This is going to be a nice little carport <laughs> once it's enclosed, just to keep the weather off the vehicle. And oh, they have a rim board um, out here. Looks like most of the blocking is in place. We have that wall completed and that exterior wall. See up here. Most of those are in. Oh, that looks great. They're cruising along there. They've got their canopy back up for cutting. <laughs> More rain today. Shockingly. It's just kind of lightly, lightly coming down now. Took a break in it just for a minute yesterday evening when I was filming and then as soon as I turned the camera off, it just started. <laughs> It started to pour again, so I did some sweeping up and cleaning up in here and just to get some of the water out of the building before more came down. So uh, these guys are still out working in it, so we certainly appreciate them and all their efforts just to get this part done. This is the end of the third week of school for me, so I finally have some grades in the grade book. I'm catching up. It's been a challenge, but you know, the beginning of the school year is always, there's always lots to do and uh, the students are doing well um, and kids around here, they handle the rain really well. They even come to school with like a hoodie on, shorts, flip flops. <laughs> I at least put my rain jacket on when I'm out on it and I realized, you know what, I should be holding an umbrella over the, the camera so it doesn't get on the lens and I'm thinking, well, I don't even know if I have an umbrella. I'm sure I have one somewhere, but um, people in sewer joke that we can tell the difference between the locals and the tourists by, you know, the tourists carrying the umbrellas. So, um, you know, I'm thinking, yeah, students just come to school with a hoodie on. <laughs> they don't even wear a raincoat. So I guess we're just used to it around here. Um, but anyway, raining season is not over yet. So we're not, we're not out of the woods on that one. Um, we're just really thankful these guys are out here getting what they are getting done in it. And um, and my mom is here from Nova Scotia to watch Emma Jean while I'm you know back to work. And uh, Scott left yesterday for moose hunting. He's some seven hours away out in the middle of nowhere, somewhere. <laughs> so hopefully he's going to come back um, within the week with um, some meat for the freezer. That's what is very important. We tried to live off the land as much as possible. We did some fishing the very beginning of the summer, the first week of June, went up to the Copper River and stocked with some, some king salmon and some sockeye. So that was our fish supply for the winter. So we have one freezer set with that and then hopefully we'll get another freezer set with some moose meat and that will then be helpful. So that's what we like to do, kind of live off the land and uh, and I don't know, it's part of the Alaskan lifestyle. It's part of why we love living here, why we chose to you know, build a house and, and stay um, in this part of the land. So anyway, that's the update. We'll see what happens uh, tomorrow uh, at the end of the week. And hopefully these guys will have a, a little more done here. <laughs> well, it's Sunday, September 10th. And yesterday I took the day off. Went berry picking with my mom and my daughter. So we found some great mushrooms as well as some blueberries and some huckleberries. So we're trying to put some things away for the winter and it's really tough because there's a lot going on right now. Uh, Scott's still on the prowl out somewhere uh, trying to find a moose. So um, that hasn't happened yet, but we still have the rest of this week. So uh, we're really hopeful for that. And yesterday was homecoming at our high school and uh, it was a very busy weekend. Uh, one thing I've learned over the years of teaching is that if you want to build relationships with your students so that they know that you care about them more than just what you're doing, what they're doing in your classroom, then you need to kind of go where they go and so attend their events. So there was cross country running race on Friday and volleyball games and then football. 
yesterday with the big parade the kids do their floats and stuff so uh, Emma Jean and I went to that and she ran around with the kids in the field and and uh, enjoyed the parade because the the students throw candy from the floats and stuff so anyway it was a nice little day off and the Sun came out it actually did not rain yesterday afternoon for the whole uh, football game and parade so that was nice so I just needed a little bit of time off so um, anyway I'm up here today to check things out and see what the guys got finished on Friday so let's see what is going on here so they have the BCI's up and they had that already going I think on Thursday so I got all the outlooks done on this side here and that rim board up looks like they're just gonna need to cut that there and looks like some sheathing on the roof Ooh, very exciting you can see things enclosed wow wow Oh, a carport! Yay! This is what... This is... Oh, awesome! They got... Looks like sheathing all the way across here. Oh, that looks great. Yep. Okay, they got all their blocking in down here. Wow. And... They got that set up. Oh, this is this is great. I see some some roof being enclosed. I'm getting really excited. <laughs> Let's see in here. Oh yay! It looks. <laughs> oh, the all are blocking across the front. Looking good. Looking good. It's nice to look up and see blue skies behind those clouds. Wow. It's supposed to be nice the next couple of days, so I think that will be very favorable for the uh, guys to get moving on getting the rest of the sheathing done, so this looks awesome. Very cool, very cool to bring Emma Jean and show her like, look, here's your room with the roof on it. <laughs> We really wanted, I mean, the rooms are small. Uh, I mean, we know that. I mean, this is just, I think, an 11 by 12 here, where this, this wall is going to be for Emma Jean's room. So enough room for a bed and, and a little nightstand. And so I'm thinking about just making this closet smaller and just kind of going in the corner over here. Originally, I said, oh, we'll do a closet like all the way along you know, this wall maybe up to here because the this uh, ceiling is so high. Like, well, we could have storage, like go all the way up to the top and then, you know, like, so it's winter, you put your um, summer stuff up there, things that you don't have to get to or whatever storage up high and then, you know, her clothes or toys or things that she needs to get to down here. But I'm considering maybe that seeing now, wow, this really is a lot of space. This is a high ceiling and, and we wanted that so that it make the room, you know, appear to be larger and also provide that storage up high. So what I'm considering is perhaps putting a, a smaller closet in over here to kind of leave this a little bit more open. So, um, hmm, any feedback on that is welcome. Um, let's see here. So yeah, they wanted to get this uh, enclosed, so now we could get the electrician in because he was up checking things out last week and he said, oh, I want to see if you've got something enclosed here before I put, uh, he didn't want, you know, obviously rain getting in here on the electrical panel and such, so, so maybe we can let him know we're getting really close there. <laughs> and uh, we put the, the tub in, it's just been covered, I've been bailing water out of there <laughs> all week, but... Uh, we wanted to get that in, so to move it kind of into the, the bathroom before he puts these walls in because we can't get it through this door. <laughs> That's a smaller opening. Um, we can get it through our bedroom door because this is a, a three foot opening. We're gonna have like a sliding, uh, kind of a barn door on the outside of that just to, we wanted that to be larger 
So, I mean, if you want it closed off, you can close it off. But in the winter, we could just, at night, leave that open, and then the wood-burning stove will be right in that corner, and we'll get heat coming right in there. Um, so that's what's going on. This, this tub is a gift from Scott's dad. We are very excited about that. Something that he picked up, a great deal on a jacuzzi tub. So we're gonna build a, a little enclosure for it over here. Ooh, looks like I need to bail some water out <laughs> down there. Oh my. That sounds like the six o'clock train. Leaving Seward, that's, yes it is, 610. That's, uh, that'll probably be stopping sometime soon. They run that passenger train all summer. Uh, it comes in at 11 o'clock in the morning, it leaves at six o'clock at night. So, uh, takes folks back and forth to Anchorage. It's a lovely, beautiful scenic drive along there. So, yeah, this is, this is great. I'm very excited to see. You know, I can just imagine this is exactly what we wanted, this you know, vaulted ceiling in here uh, and this open, open space. So it's, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> this is our A-team. We are, it's, it's happening, it's happening. So um, that's the closure for this week. We're hoping the next, like, like I said, the next couple of days with this great weather, the guys will We'll get some more done up there, and um, I have the dimensions. He gave it to me on Friday so we can get the metal roof ordered, so I'm going to email Builder's Choice tonight and, and tell them, get that order in, and we'll be ready to go. I realized they had a ladder across the back here in the carport. I said, oh, I'm going to climb up and take a look at what they have up here. Oh, awesome. Yep, the whole idea is to get some metal on here and the snow will just whoosh, slide right down here, can go down the hill and <laughs> won't have to worry about it. Uh, one thing about Seward is we get a lot of rain, as you can tell. <laughs> so <laughs> we don't want any mold or uh, moss growing on shingles and it tends to stay off of the metal, which is one great feature plus the you know, the snow sliding is the other feature, so yeah, that's great. And I really want to thank everybody that gave some feedback about what to do with the uh, the area where we're going to put rock. We said that we've got some rock collected here. It's right down here. <laughs> this stuff just falls off the, you know, on the side of the road and, you know, we just really wanted to have, you know, some some indigenous rock, you know, on the house to be part of the design. So, um, anyway, like, uh, we realized, you know, we were not, we're not going to have enough time to, to get that up here on these, like that, that three feet up. And, uh, people had some really awesome ideas. So I just want to say thanks for that. And we do appreciate any input that folks have where, you know, we've tried to do some research, but like I said, we're not experts on this. We're, we're not pretending to be, so we're looking for any kind of feedback any that folks may have that would help us out or help other people out, you know, doing a, a project like this. So, uh, thank you.
Are you finding any over there? Hey, let me see what you have. Are those good? If you keep eating them all, they're not going to get very many in the bucket. This bucket's only getting that much in it because mommy's putting them in there. 